Okay, welcome back. So we got yet another plasma television issue. Now this is an ancient, ancient uh, second generation 2004 model. That's a Ben Q46W1. Basically a gateway and uh, has a very interesting problem, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that I know what's going on here and I'll show you what it does. I've been using it as a computer monitor. So it boots up just fine, sort of. <laughs> And then, yeah, we've got some distortion, discolored. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's uh, a Z-Sustain board. So I'm going to tear this stucker down and uh, see what's going on here. But just an interesting note, I'll get close to it. When you turn it off, it almost sounds like it's, uh, <laughs> it's frying on the inside. Have a listen. <laughs> right there. Don't sound too healthy, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to play with this and, and not electrocute herself in the process. So I'll tear her down and we'll go from there. So what you're looking at right now here is a photograph of a, a television with a bad Z sustain board. You see the white pixelization, which you did see when I shut the television down and when I booted it up. You got that white pixelization. And often if you've got a bad Z sustain board, you'll get some discolorization. So I'm betting you that uh, you know I can fix this this plasma television for whew, I'm gonna guess under 50 bucks but we'll see what happens here so it's a shame we live in a throwaway world that uh, the attitude is just go buy a new TV but you know what sometimes it's uh, a few pennies on the dollar you you can save these things and that's the point of making this video and there's a lot of great websites out there for help and there's also a lot of great websites out there that carry these you know secondhand parts that uh, basically like an auto recycler would do they, they take parts they test to make sure they're good and they will sell them to people in need okay so we got her all apart no problem pull off the back cabinet and a lot of cases you know sound especially electronic singeing sound is not a good thing but we're gonna turn that bad thing into a positive because we're gonna try to determine what area of the set is producing that awful sound when we go to turn the TV off and I suspect it's going to be right here which is the Z sustain board the Z sustain board is actually reverse named it's Y bulk on this model don't know why that's just the way Tatung had uh, built their plasma sets so uh, let's see if we can determine what board that horrific sound was coming from let's see if we can hear that zapping closely when I turn her down uh-huh okay, here's another test you can do if you suspect a bad board um, I was thinking just by the results that we saw on the screen the display you're looking at a bad Z sustain board and when I unplug the Z sustain board which I've done here then I go to power the unit on I've got no zap sound Now if I plug the Z sustain board back in, aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh. you see what's going on there? See those sparks? So when I get the Z sustain board plugged in, I'm getting electronic zaps. When it's not plugged in, I'm not. So it gives you a base idea of where we're looking here. That is probably a terrible board. And it's probably drawing too much current causing the power supply to board to spark. So I pulled her all apart and I actually did find something. Um, as you can see here, I'm zooming in on it right there. Got a cold solder joint on the power supply board and of course this is the uh, portion of the board that feeds the Z sustain board. So uh, we're going to re-solder this cold joint and uh, Go from there. There are many websites out there that offer um, a variety of used good television parts. So this is the first time I've ever used Shop Jimmy. I hear good things about them, and uh, you know, the price is right for this board. So after scouring the internet, this is what I come up with, and it is highly advisable that uh, when you replace any sustain board, that you replace the buffers that go with that sustain board, and I'll explain why a little later on. 
Okay, so I acquired the parts from uh, shopjimmy.com. Here are the parts. Uh, pretty well packaged. Your two buffer boards, and of course your Z stain board replacement. So let's uh, install this and see what uh, what happens. Okay, to spare you the boredom of unscrewing all the screws off the board, that's already been done, so we modern miracle of editing. We've got to a, a farther point in life and uh, here's the old board. We're just going to extract it. And the one thing I should mention is I was actually very impressed. The new board arrived and uh, it was very very well clean. It's the first time I've ever used Shop Jimmy and I should mention that I'm no way affiliated with them but uh, I have ordered many boards for TVs for people and uh, this one came in very clean. It looks like they cleaned it up. You know, a lot of other places that I've ordered from, they come in dusty. I mean, it doesn't matter. It still works. But, uh, yeah, so, no, this is a very clean board. And we're going to put in the new Z Sustain and uh, let's see what happens. Okay, replacement Z Sustain board installed. And then the buffers just simply click in like that. Nothing to it. New buffers as well. Okay, so order has been restored, and not to confuse anybody out there, but just because this is Y bulk, it is not the Y sustain board. It is the Z sustain board. And over here, this is the X scan board, what is actually the Z sustain board. On this make and model, it's got reverse naming. X scan is Y sustain, and Y bulk is Z sustain board. 99.9% .9 of the models out there, a Y is a Y, and a Z is a Z. This model, I don't know why, but they just reverse named them, so not to add confusion. So we replaced the Y sustain board. We uh, soldered up that cold joint on the power supply board, and we also replaced the buffer boards. And again, the reason that you replace the buffer boards is because if the buffer boards were the reason that the Z sustain board went bad, if you put a good Z sustain board and plug the ba bad buffers back in, you're just going to cook another board within minutes so it's not worth it for the extra cost replace the boards on the buffers if you can alright so back on the wall we go and uh, do a test run so far so good There we go. Things look to be back in order. So yeah, again, the Z sustain board, the reason I suspected that is because the symptoms. You could see the discoloration and everything else. And uh, So yeah, replace the Z sustain board and replace the buffers. So for 35 bucks and some change, also that loose solder joint on the power supply. That was a weird one. I don't know what was going on there. But uh, yeah, so for 35 bucks and some change, uh, we breathe new life into one of these at... Uh, not bad at all, eh? 35 bucks, I'm sure if uh, you could save one of your TVs for that, most people out there would do that. Hopefully somebody uh, learned something out there and enjoyed the video. See you next time.